Today let us see how we can pass data between two pages. Before continuing with this tutorial, please visit previous day video tutorial, the link to which is present on your computer screen right now. I'll go through the application briefly here. We have a data provider which has an array variable. When the application invokes load all method, we send this, we return this array variable as promise. So if we import this data provider here and invoke load all method and save the data returned by the promise inside our variable companies which we iterate through in our template file and display the names of the companies. We also initialize the company's variable to zero until the promise is resolved a spinner is shown on the screen which may not be visible in today's tutorial please visit yesterday's tutorial to see the details of that now I'll come out of the terminal and let me generate a second page you can see a new page folder and its component being added here shortly and it's done so let me remove this I'll first add this second page component to my home page we only have these two pages home page and this second page so I'll add my second page reference to my first page by importing it because we would be navigating to the second page so we need to have this second page imported in our home page let me grab the class name here and also remove this to make some room for us okay so once the user clicks on it I'll invoke maybe details page method and let me pass the clicked list elements code that is the unique code we have here for each object so that we can identify which on which the user has clicked so once the user clicks on it let me define details page which takes an ID Please visit this basic navigation video tutorial for more details so once the user clicks on any component using now controller reference this dot now controller dot push I'll push the reference to the page where the user need to be navigated to that's the first argument in the second argument I'll pass the value sent to this method I'll assign that value to a property called code you can give any name there so from this page let me copy this import statement to my second page component also I'll import now params class so that I can receive the values sent by home page component let me create a reference to now params and also a reference to the data the provider so we want some code to be executed immediately so I'll write the code inside the constructor because constructor is a method which is executed 
executed first when this class is invoked so data i'll invoke a method called get by id which we haven't defined yet since it would re return a promise i'll use then let me take a variable company here and then assign the results to this variable that is the company variable let me go ahead and define get by id method in our provider which takes an id by the way as an argument let me even show you let me even pass the value of this id from second page component or else it will get confusing later on so this is important this dot the reference to now params dot get method and then pass the value to it that is the id okay we are passing this id we are pa to the with the name of the property as code so we can get that value here using the property name code which we pass to get by id method so inside my provider i'll define get by id method i'll loop through this this dot data variable now once it matches the code any unique code present inside the data variable to the passed in id i'll simply return that object as a promise so this dot data of i for example if the user clicked on the company name google which has an unique id 567 if then this get by id will return this whole object as a promise if the passed in id is 542 this object will be returned as a promise we have a red color indicator here which means it's an error i'll have to enclose it within quotes also now let me navigate to the associated template file and display the values present inside company variable so i'll display the company name here and below that may become the product name it has a property called product so company dot product also i'll assign initial value to company variable so that i can have a spinner here otherwise it will start throwing errors because company has not yet resolved which means it's undefined that is the name property and the product property of an undefined variable it will throw errors so until the variable company has an initial value of zero please show us this spinner and remove this ion content from the dom because it's not zero once the promise is resolved and the company variable has some value to it remove the spinner from the dom and show the ion content section also make sure to let your application know that there is another page called second page by mentioning it inside app.modules file grab the class name also specify it inside declarations and entry components section that's it let me compile this
and have a look on our browser and it's working let me show how it looks in a mobile device I'm showing it for Nexus 6P and it's working very nicely so let me add a details icon here the right side icon which we see on our applications we have in detailed tutorial for this too please visit the link present on your computer screen right now i'll simply go ahead and implement it without giving you more detail here because the this video tutorial length will increase if i do that so i'll add a property called detail push iphone push and also inside our themes folder there is a file called variables.scss I'll open that and add two variables and set its value to true item md md means material design this mode is used by default by Android devices since I'm using my Windows platform and Chrome browser to showcase this, I'll also enable it, make it true for WP, that is Windows phone, Windows devices. And it's working right now. Okay. I'll also even remove these lines from this list items to make it look cleaner. Your choice may be different from mine. I'll just do it in order to show it to you i'll add no lines property to ion list and it's working looks clean for me that's it that's how you pass data between two pages please share this video with your friends on social networking sites stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our youtube channel and make sure to like this video on youtube thank you